Hello, this is Kate from DailyTarotGirl.com, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing my new favorite tarot deck, the Dark Mansion Tarot. So, as you can see, it comes in a really cute box. This is a, a, a nice, sturdy box, and it's gorgeous. I love the cover design on this box. And let's open it up and take a look. So this is the regular edition that I'm going to be showing you. There's three different versions. You can get like a fancy version, which I think comes in like a fancier box. And you can get a large version. And I have the standard or the regular edition. So first of all, I love, love, love the card backs. This is probably... Yeah, for some reason, this is always really important to me, what the card backs look like. And this is one of my favorite decks for how the card backs look. So it looks awesome. Cardstock quality is fantastic. Like this is a really luxurious feeling deck. So the cardstock is um, has a matte finish and it feels really nice. It feels kind of velvety. And the edges are black. And what I really like about this deck is I've noticed that with a lot of other decks that I have that um, have black cards is when you shuffle them and you start to, to use them more heavily, the black starts to fade away and you get like little white flecky marks. Um, on this deck, that doesn't happen. So I'm not sure why it doesn't happen, but it doesn't. <laughs> so um, the edges stay black, which is really cool. And the cardstock is fairly thick, not like crazy thick but it's pretty thick so it's really really top-notch quality so I'm gonna um, slowly go through this deck so you get a feel for it I also like the size of these cards they're they're kind of standard tarot size but um, they're really really easy to shuffle and work with the print quality is also very high uh, and I feel like that's important this is such a gorgeous deck. I just, um, when I first got this deck, I've had it about a month now, and when I first opened the box and started to go through it, I was just super enchanted with this deck. I just loved it. I loved how bright the cards were, how colorful they were, how the images just popped, and I really fell in love with the style of art. Now, the art is done by Magdalena Kaksan. I don't know if I'm saying her last name right, but um, I just love the artwork. It kind of reminds me of like Tim Burton, Nightmare Before Christmas style kind of kind of art a little bit, and I just really really like it. So there's no little white book with this deck, and I mean I'm not a big I don't really care if there's a little white book or not. I tend to not look at them anyway. Um, but that's something to keep in mind. There is no little white book. So you have to, if you're, if you're brand new to tarot, you'll want your own book on tarot anyway. And I would have to say, I have a lot of decks. <laughs> but this is, this deck comes as close as possible to being the perfect deck for me. I have been using this deck nonstop for the last month. I've been using it for all my professional readings and my personal readings and um, it reads really really well. It's an easy to read deck. It's an absolute joy to read with and I feel like this deck would be perfect for beginners. I feel like it's perfect for, for tarot readers of all levels. Um, it's not like a boring Rider Waite clone type of deck, even though it does stick to the Rider Waite imagery fairly, fairly closely. Um, but it's also a perfect beginner deck. Like the, you know, the images don't stray too far from the traditional Rider Waite style. So it would be a good beginner deck as well. This deck is independently published, and because of that, it's a little bit more expensive than decks that you know aren't independently published. 
but I feel like the extra price is totally worth it with this deck. And I wouldn't say that with a lot of decks, um, but with this one for sure, like I, I wouldn't hesitate to, you know, knowing how awesome this deck is, I wasn't, wouldn't hesitate to, to spend a little extra to order this one. I'm actually really interested in the large version of this deck. I might end up ordering that one for myself. Although I don't feel like this is too small. I feel like this is like the perfect... Oh, I love the Wheel of Fortune. It's Some of the cards are just very detailed, which I really appreciate. That one's really pretty. The tower. High Priestess. Yeah, like I said, I've been using this deck nonstop for the past month, and this is one of the easiest decks to read with out of all my decks. I just love it. Um, and I mean, everyone is so different with the kind of decks they're attracted to and the kind of artwork. Um, for me, this artwork just really, really resonated with me. And yeah, I just love it. I really like the court cards here too. I love this Queen of Wands. My favorite card in this whole deck is probably the star. And we have I don't think we've gotten to her yet. You know what's interesting? I used this deck for my 2019 tarot forecast reading, and um, this card came up in it, I believe. And this card has come up for so many people that I've read for this year. It's really interesting. Oh, see, she's so beautiful. I just love the court cards in this deck. I feel like each card really has like a story in it. And I mean, I guess that's true of a lot of decks, but this one especially, I feel like I can really see the story in each card. And here's the star, my favorite, <laughs> my favorite card in this whole deck. Oh, she's so beautiful. And here we are with the sun. And I believe this is where we started. Yeah. So um, this is called the Dark Mansion Tarot. Here's the box. And I will put links uh, in the description box below this video on where you can find this deck, where you can purchase. And um, yeah, I, I love this deck. I'm just so in love with it. And I hope I haven't gushed too much, <laughs> but this is just such a beautiful deck and it has such a nice feel to it. And that's so important to me these days. I like my cards to, to feel really good in my hands. And this deck definitely has a good, has a good feel to it. So I highly recommend this deck. If you, if you liked what you saw, you will love working with this deck. Okay. So my name is Kate and you can find more uh, deck reviews on my website, dailytarotworld.com. Thanks for watching.